Hello, Sigmas, and let us quickly dive into this uh, another very interesting problem with a very interesting story, right? So, in this story, we have a police station. So, this is a police station, right? PS, and a thief managed to escape from the police station. Now, the road which the thief took looks something like this. Right? And here there is just fields, okay? This is these are just fields. Right. And the path which the thief took was this. So the thief managed to take the keys of one of the jeeps and escape from the police station. Now the maximum velocity which these jeeps can have is V and the thief tried to escape with the fastest velocity possible. Right, so let's say after some time the thief uh, reached somewhere over here. Okay. Now the very intelligent police, Sir Singham, also got to know about the escape of this uh, thief and hence he himself tried to chase the thief in his police jeep, right? Which, and he also drove with the maximum velocity. Okay, let's say he got to know about the thief as soon as he tried to escape. And so they both uh, escaped at almost the same time. Now, uh, Singham was also a physics student in his uh, early days. So he knows physics, whereas the thief, he is illiterate and that's why he fell into this type of uh, thing. Uh, he is uh, un uneducated and very stupid. So that's why he became, went forward to become a thief. So he doesn't know physics, but with whatever robbery he did, he managed to become a pretty wealthy thief. So at uh, point B, let's call this point B, he has a helicopter located over here, right? And uh, as soon as he reaches B, he will manage to escape through the helicopter. So, uh, Singham has to reach uh, the point B before the thief does in order to catch him. It is given that this distance uh, from the police station to this point, let's call this point uh, A, is uh, a capital X, right? And this distance from A to B is L. Now, since Singham knows physics, he also knows math and he also knows the Pythagorean theorem. But these are fields, right? So, in fields, you know, they won't be as smooth as the highways. So, we, it is given that in the fields, the velocity of this uh, jeep is obviously going to be reduced. Let's say it is reduced by an amount eta. So, in the fields, if the uh, if Singham tries to drive through the field, his velocity will be V by eta. It will be reduced by an amount eta, right? V by eta, the eta is a number greater than 1. So, it will, uh, his velocity in the fields would obviously be less than V. And the task at his hand, which he has already studied in his uh, early days while he was a physics student, is that at what, should, what distance uh, small x from a if he takes a turn right if he tries to apply pythagoras theorem at what distance x right if he takes that path to b at what distance x from a if he takes if singham takes a turn to b will he reach b before uh, the thief does. So the thief actually takes this path because he doesn't know physics. He thinks that highway is the smoothest path, so it also has to be the shortest path, right? Whereas if he travels to the field, it will slow him. But Singham knows physics. He knows Pythagoras theorem. So he knows the distance x at which if he takes a turn, so let's call this point P. So at point P, he he travels in this direction to B and he actually manages to catch the thief. And now it is your turn 
go pause this video right here go try it out yourself right and you have to find the distance x the distance small x from a at which if singham takes a turn that is the point p at which the singham takes a turn he reaches b before the thief does go try it out yourself and try it for at least an hour and even after trying for at least an hour if you are not able to solve it return back resume this video and look at the solutions because what is important is not the solution but it is more important for you to use your own head to solve the problem but if you are even if you are not able to solve the problem it is fine i am here right so you done you tried now let us begin with the pro solution right so the total time which a singham will take in reaching the point b will be the time in reaching point p from the police station plus the time in reaching the point b from point p right the addition of these two time the time it took let's say it took 1 hour i'm just giving an example to reach from the police station to point p and to us to reach from p to b then obviously uh, the total time will be 1 plus 2 which is 3 hours right so let's say that the time it took for singham to reach from the police station to point p is t1 and the time it took for him to reach from p to b is t2 right so capital t which is the total time in reaching from the police station to point b would be t1 plus T two, right. So what is T one now? Here the his velocity is v on the highway. So obviously T one would be capital X minus small x divided by v. How? Because this distance, if this is capital X from a police station to point A is capital X, and from point P to A is small x, then this distance is obviously capital X minus small x, right? This the capital X minus small x. So he we will get capital X divided minus small x divided by v plus t two the time it took for him to reach from p to b. Now what is this distance p b? P b would obviously be small x square uh, plus l square from Pythagorean's theorem, right? This distance is small x. From Pythagorean theorem, this is p, this is a, and this is b, and this is x, and this is l. Then obviously this distance would be x square plus l square under root. So we are going to get under root of x square plus l square divided by now the speed from reaching from p to b is v divided by eta. It is less than v. Okay. Now you have to find x for which the total time taken t is minimum. So now we are again going to use a very interesting concept from mathematics and derivatives. That is the to find the minimum value. To find the minimum value of t. For a particular x, or to find x such that that t is the minimum. What do we do? We divide, we differentiate t with respect to x, and then put it equal to zero. This is the concept from maxima and minima. If you have studied derivatives, so how we to find a particular value of x for which t is minimum, we just differentiate t with respect to x, and then put that equal to zero. and that will give us the minimum value. now it could give us maximum value also uh, but uh, in this problem we know that it is going to give a minimum value we are going to assume 
that maximum value uh, if you want to find whether it will give minimum or maximum you just have to see if uh, d square you have to differentiate it again with respect to t and you have to see whether it is less than zero or greater than zero so you have to check that right to if it is greater than zero then that gives the minimum value anyway so here we are going to assume that we have already done that test and we know it is going to give minimum value only so we just find the we just take the first differentiation and set it equal to zero so let us differentiate t with respect to time what is the what is going to be dt upon dx from this expression it should be um, uh, capital x minus small x so it will be minus uh, a minus 1 by v plus the differentiation of the second term right would be because uh, x by x is a constant the distance obviously from the pulley station to point e is not changing so i can just divide v with both uh, x and minus x and then the differentiation would just give me minus 1 by v as I've already explained differentiation in my previous videos. And in this uh, differentiating the second term, uh, I'm using addition rule. So now I'm going to differentiate the second term. I will get uh, the differentiation plus of one upon V by H I is a constant, right? So that will come out of the differentiation and I will have to differentiate the square root term. So what is the differentiation of a square root? It is nothing but one upon two square root of x square plus l square. This is again the rule which I have taught in my previous video of differentiation. And uh, plus applying chain rule, first I differentiate this entire term and then I ch apply chain rule and differentiate the terms inside it. So since l square is a constant, its derivative is zero. And so we, we are only going to differentiate x square, which will give us 2x. So 2 and 2 will cancel over here. So we will get a minus 1 by v plus 1 upon v by eta x upon under root of x square plus l square. equal to we have to put it equal to zero right so this will give us one upon v by eta x divided by under root of x square plus l square is equal to one by v so now v we will get cancelled on both sides so we'll be left with this v and this v will get cancelled Right, so we'll be left with x upon under root of x square plus l square is equal to eta or uh, 1 by eta, it would be 1 by eta. Now squaring both sides, I will get x square divided by x square plus l square. I just square both sides will be 1 upon eta square. So I will get uh, taking the reciprocal on both sides i will get x square plus x uh, plus l square divided by x square is equal to eta square i just took the reciprocal on both sides all right and then uh, dividing by x square i will get 1 plus l square by x square is equal to eta square and then uh, i will get l square by x square is equal to eta square minus 1 and so x square would be equal to l square divided by eta square minus 1. That means x would be equal to l divided by under root of eta square minus 1. And that's it. This was our problem. And Singham used just that to catch the group, to catch the thief before he could escape with his helicopter and after this uh, Singham got many medals and got a promotion so this is how physics really applies to even 
polices and in the previous video we saw how it applies to sports so you can see how physics is everywhere and also to your daily life in my rain man problem if you have not checked it out so that's it guys in this video i wanted to show you how you, how you can find the shortest path between two points and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video to motivate me to create more such interesting videos uh, do sub hit the subscribe button and do not forget to like this video i will see you in the next video with more such interesting and real life problems thank you for watching